match. 12 rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Brought to you in association with HBO Pay-Per-View and MP Promotions and sponsored by Cazadores, the one with the deer on it. Tecate, Cerveza Con Character, DeWalt Tools, Guaranteed Tough. Southwest Airlines, low fares, no hidden fees, and full throttle. Go full throttle or go home. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Bill Brady, Executive Director Keith Kaiser. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout. Should it go the distance, Adelaide Bird, Stanley Christadulu, and Dave Moretti. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Tony Weeks. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, may the best man win. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red and white, Officially weighing 142 pounds. Professional record, 52 fights. 47 victories, including 35 knockouts, with three defeats and two even. Ladies and gentlemen, the former flyweight world champion, former junior featherweight world champion, former super featherweight world champion and current lightweight champion of the world from General Santos City. The fighting pride of the Philippines and number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing burgundy and gray, official weight, 145 pounds. Since capturing Olympic gold, his professional record stands at 44 fights. 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with 5 defeats and 10 world titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super lightweight, former two-time welterweight, former two-time junior middleweight, and former middleweight champion of the world. The Golden Boy from East LA, Oscar De La Seen some big fights over here, but the atmosphere for this one takes some topping. Oh, yeah. yeah, it does. I think it's because uh, the opponent tonight has such a massive support okay. as well. Oscar, Manny, you both received your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, look. If it goes right here, it's okay. Anything below that's low. Right here is okay, anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. Referee Tony Weeks handled that great contest between the late Diego Corrales and Jose Luis Castillo, one of the most memorable seen in recent times. De La Hoya's size, strength, reach, and skills Pacquiao's speed, ferocity, explosiveness, and the fact that he is the fighter at his peak, the current pound-for-pound -pound champion. He's a very quick southpaw. What happens the first time De La Hoya lands with his trademark left hook? Can Pacquiao take that punch? And you have to wonder, will Pacquiao box his normal fight, or will he feel he has to change to, to face a bigger man? Three weight divisions above him when he's been boxing up to recently. If he's the one who changes his style, that could be a weakness. De La Hoya will want to establish his jab. He was saying that he's looking to maybe throw 40 of them around. But a lot of things were said in the build-up to this fight, and I think we've had a lot of smoke screens about the weight as well. Let's just watch and see what happens now. should be trying to find a better rhythm and he's what good start from Pacquiao here he's looking sharp 
and his hand speed troubling De La Hoya. De La Hoya looked very tense, I thought, before the fight, and Pacquiao, super relaxed, almost like Evander Holyfield did that night when he shocked Mike Tyson for the first time. I think De La Hoya has realised he's going to have trouble pinning Pacquiao down. I think he thought it was a lot easier to catch than this. Throws quick punches, but moves around quickly too. And he does have a very good record too against fighters with Mexican blood. Having stopped Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales twice. But that, of course, was at lower weights. Hand speed again. Pacquiao with his southpaw jab. Is there a bit of blood around on De La Hoya's face? I'm just thinking De La Hoya has fought very few southpaws and already the feet have been tripping over each other and knocked it. De La Hoya out of his rhythm. I wonder if the southpaw stance will be something that Oscar never solves out tonight. Now he starts to let go, and Pacquiao had to take that left hook there around the temple for the first time. Looked a bit troubled by it, but he's okay. That was better from De La Hoya. Now he's got that jab going. Pacquiao certainly stole the early scenes. A great left hand, but De La Hoya looking sharper as the round's gone on. Yeah, but I think Pacquiao's the one who's actually landed the more punches in the opening round. De La Hoya may have landed the stronger ones, but I think the volume. There it goes again, that left-hand lead working the tree. Troubled by the southpaw, style and speed. De La Hoya. It's a decent opening round, plenty happening. I think Pacquiao stole it. No shortage of incident and a good start that by Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, well, we're never giving them credit for his boxing skills. He was crude when Freddie Roach got his hands on him, but what a change he's made in him. And he's the one who's changed his style tonight. He knows he has to box a little bit more. Keep what a start. It's very important. You've got to keep your back off the ropes. When you feel the ropes coming... Nacho Beristein is the new trainer for Oscar De La Hoya for this one. Much lower key than Floyd Mayweather Sr. Certainly out of the ring, anyway. I thought the left hand worked a treat straight through up De La Hoya's guard. De La Hoya a little bit too intent on what he's doing, forgetting the speed of Pacquiao in the opening round. Here comes round two. Pacquiao, the ex-flyweight world champion, and De La Hoya, who's been as high as middleweight in his career. It's incredible that they're in the same ring together, but they are, and it's quite an event here. Good, fast left hand from Pacquiao, but back comes De La Hoya with his right hand, and then a left two. I think De La Hoya is trying to bully Pacquiao. He's not putting enough thought into what he's doing. He just thinks he's bigger, and he's trying to walk through as if he doesn't have a, a real plan of what he wants to do. Just wants to be the bigger man and bully him. It's not working quite yet. But will the weight of these punches begin to tell on Pacquiao as the fight goes on? If De La Hoya can land enough. Well, Pacquiao's boxing very fluid. Whereas De La Hoya's looking that little bit tense, winding up the punches, maybe telegraphing what's on his mind. Pacquiao moving around very quickly, very loose. Pacquiao has refined his skills. He was pretty much a ferocious slugger when we first clapped eyes on him, but uh, he's a lot more thoughtful an operator now. That's how he's won world titles at four different weights. In fact, these two between them have had 40 world championship fights. Well, De La Hoya cannot pin him down. He can't back him to the ropes. Pacquiao is... He's not, he's not holding the centre of the ring, but he's not really been back up. He's always given himself space to move. De La Hoya missing again. Playing the fast left hand, troubling De La Hoya. Not much head movement from him, and there it is again, rat-a-tat-tat. De La Hoya is having success with countering right hands. I think De La Hoya is too intent in trying to hurt Pacquiao, trying to use the natural strength and power. There's not enough thought in his body. This is beautiful stuff from Pacquiao. Speed is beating size at the moment, early. And he looked for a big, ferocious uppercut. Pacquiao then, there's that fast left again. 
and he can't get out of the way of that, you know, Oscar De La Hoya. Not a good start, there's no rhythm whatsoever in De La Hoya's work. Pacquiao has never stayed in the same spot for a second. De La Hoya can't pin him down, can't catch him with solid punches. That's better from De La Hoya, he gets his jab going. But that left of Pacquiao is coming in at lightning quick. And De La Hoya has kept on shipping the punch. Well, this is another round that I've much preferred what Pacquiao's been doing. Right left hand again, working a treat. The Filipino is dominating things, really, so far. He's getting the better of the argument. And his tactics working well, never allowing De La Hoya to corner him by the ropes and pummel away and make his size count. 16K after training, six weeks paid leave and free health care. To find out more about joining the army, text FUTURE to 61110. Great start by this man, Manny Pacquiao. He made, he made it high. Now he made, made well, it who would have thought the box of the two was going to be Manny Pacquiao? Tactics, brilliant, working a treat. He looks forced and strained at the moment. Can De La Hoya find some answers? If he can't, he might be in trouble here. And his boxing legacy's on the line a bit. It's a hiding to nothing fight in many ways, this, for him. He's got to do something to slow down the little jack in the box in front of him. See, Pacquiao's smart. He's not winding up punches. He's not trying to hurt De La Hoya. He's just trying to hit and run and not take anything in return. The tactics really have been spot on. They've shot me, and I think they've shot Oscar De La Hoya too. De La Hoya is looking, you feel, for big power shots to make his natural weight advantage count. But all the time, Pacquiao's throwing out the southpaw jab, whipping in left hands, and maybe just nicking the rounds doing it. I mean, you can see exactly what saw in Oscar De La Hoya's mind. He's just trying to get the, the power shots going. He should get his boxing together, he has an excellent left hand, but it's as though he's winding up the right hand all the while. It's a bit more of a technical fight than maybe some people might have imagined early on. Well, I think that's down to the fact that Pacquiao has turned boxer, surprisingly. Well, I spoke to Freddie Roach's trainer the other day, he almost accepted that Pacquiao wouldn't be able to knock out a bigger man like De La Hoya. So they're going about the job of winning the fight on points if they have to. There's a right hand from De La Hoya. Don't underestimate De La Hoya's skills and his boxing brain. He'll be working things out in there and trying to come up with some answers. Whether he does is another matter. Still can't pin him down. Still just being a little bit predictable in what he's doing. De La Hoya hasn't shown anything that Pacquiao can't cope with. That was better, a little faint before he threw the punch there, De La Hoya. More thought was required in what he's doing. It's not all about power and strength. There is the question, too, of how strong De La Hoya is at this weight. He hasn't made well to wait for seven and a half years since he fought Arturo Gatti in 2001. Really struggling with Pacquiao's speed. Head too stationary and too obvious what it has in his mind. Well, that's what Roach said, didn't he? Size isn't going to win this fight, speed isn't at the moment. And it is still early, Pacquiao's speed is the decisive factor. See, Pacquiao is the one who is relaxed, so he's reacting to situations where I feel a high as tense, set himself, and nothing is flowing for him. That was a closer round. But once again, I like Pacquiao. Just did that bit more, didn't meet the Filipino again. Beautiful. 
nice head movement, son. Give me one deep breath. In through your nose, down through your mouth. Come on, you're right. That's it. Freddie Roach, who famously said in the build-up, Oscar De La Hoya cannot pull the trigger anymore. And that was based on his experience in De La Hoya's corner for the Mayweather fight. Yeah, maybe a little bit unkind, but what we have to see here is how heavily is Pacquiao breathing. When you're in with a naturally bigger man, the longer it goes, the tougher it gets. I mean, there again, the, the punches that counted and the punches you remember, again, coming from Pacquiao. But he's working really hard, using up a lot of steam to keep himself in front here. Quick comment from Ricky Hatton. What are you making it so far? I think Manny Pacquiao is boxing absolutely fantastic. And uh, I thought Oscar De La Hoya looked fantastic on the scales yesterday. But today he looks... Yeah, he, he doesn't look very well to me. And uh, his reactions out on the boil are, are just... Uh, but all credit to Manny Pacquiao, fantastic start for him. Thanks a lot, Ricky. Back to round four. Good right hand again from Pacquiao there on the counter. I think he took the better one from Oscar De La Hoya. A beautiful leading right hand. That's a cut. Oscar finding the target now, but Pacquiao taking the shots and coming back. Classy so far, Pacquiao. De La Hoya just looks frustrated and tense in there, not himself at all. But remember, he is 35 now, and some say these are the twilight times. He cannot get Pacquiao to the ropes, which is what he's trying to do. That's his first mission, but he can't seem to do it. This is a better round for De La Hoya. Pacquiao was breathing very heavily at the end of the previous round. He's done a lot of work here. He's worked at a pace. This is a fight that could, I always felt it was a fight that would get harder for Pacquiao as it went along. But what an excellent start he's made. Certainly may have put the first three rounds in the back, Pacquiao, but maybe late on, the cumulative effect of fighting the bigger man will count again. Dazzling combination from Pacquiao. Good right hand, he's down with a few of those heavy-looking right hands in this round, De La Hoya. Yeah, but not without payback. Pacquiao taking the power shots, they're still coming back. Pacquiao trying to defy boxing logic and you feel growing in confidence. He looks so loose and confident in there, doesn't he? That's been the difference from the first bell, De La Hoya. He's tense, he, you can see exactly what's on his mind. All he's thinking about is power shots and he's been out what This is a little bit better from him. But certainly not vintage Oscar De La Hoya. Body punches from both men in flurries. Pacquiao taking the initiative. This is wonderful stuff, Rama. He's really turning it on. There's that little bit of blood by the bridge of the nose from early on. And De La Hoya again just cannot cope with the speed of the punches. He's in trouble in this fight at the moment. And he's starting to look a bit bemused in there. That was a beautiful left hand from... Remember it? In the Mayweather fight, De La Hoya was the one who was hurt with the head punches. It wasn't Mayweather. A lot of people derided this contest, but it's proving fascinating. Keep the punches up. Little warning for Pacquiao there from Tony Weeks, who hasn't had to do much. Well, this was shaping up like a De La Hoya round in the first half minute or so, but it hasn't sustained it. Again, I like Pacquiao. Can the new man in the corner do the trick? Well, he knows what he's doing is not working. I think he's come in in his mind that he's too big for Pacquiao. He can hurt him with punches, but you can't hurt someone if you're not landing. And that's the big problem. They can't find the, the target. This guy is so quick, so sharp, so confident. Don't just walk walking behind the thing, the head movement, and the beard, yeah. A little bit of movement. You can't handle your speed, son. Okay. He's not wrong about that at the moment, Freddie Roach. Of course, Amir Khan has been sparring with Manny Pacquiao in the build-up to this fight, a couple of rounds at a time in Los Angeles. Here's the fifth round. 
Well, you wonder if a little bit of desperation is going to start seeing it's a good right hand lead from Delahoya. Wonder if a little bit of desperation. See, Delahoya is only trying single punches, and Pacquiao is dealing with them without a great deal of problem. It's not often that anybody outskills Oscar De La Hoya, but that's what's happened here so far, as well as him being outspeeded. And De La Hoya still with single punches, he just seems a little bit reticent to let the punches flow. Started this round better, but this happened the previous round and he lost his way again. Needs a breakthrough moment in the fight, you feel, now. He's pushing Pacquiao around now in an anti-clockwise direction, which is what you should be doing with southpaws. He hasn't always done that. And you take the rhythm out of their legs. They're still not too keen to march forward and take his opportunities. More fast, eye-catching punches from the man who holds a version of the world lightweight title. Remember Sugar Shane Mosley and Roberto Duran jumped straight from lightweight to welterweight with success. It's Pacquiao, Pacquiao again. Can't miss him! He's making De La Hoya look an old fighter in there at the moment. He's completely outboxing him, this is unbelievable! Shocking! It's almost been embarrassing for De La Hoya so far, this. This is not what he had in mind at all. Still hasn't the confidence to let the punches flow. Still looking for single shots and look what Pacquiao's coming back with. And even if he is the lighter man, these punches will start to have their effect because they're thumping home. And look at Pacquiao growing in confidence here. He's really starting to explode them. He's Big not, round for Filipino. He's not even allowing... De La Hoya to do anything, he's one step ahead, one move ahead, just two shot all the way around. What a turn up for the book. Could it change? Looks for a big right to the body. Needs to do something to dent the ring of confidence. That's better from De La Hoya, but look at Pacquiao, there's a little message. Not troubled, he says. Well, this is not the fight I had pictured in advance and it wouldn't be the one that Oscar De La Hoya had. Still looking for one big single shot to turn things around. No rhythm, not re using really his techniques. A tale of the unexpected unfolding here so far. Oh, Pacquiao again, and they didn't hear the bell either. seat at history here is Manny Pacquiao unveiling himself as a modern version of homicide Hank Henry Armstrong who held the welterweight lightweight and featherweight championships at the same time in 1938 well he's well on his way to that and you have to ask the question De La Hoya is so poor tonight you have to ask the question has he made some serious miscalculations for the way he's treated the weight for this fight It seemed like a good idea when he signed the contract, and Pacquiao was happy to sign it too, especially for $11.5 million guaranteed. Bet on the fact that De La Hoya is on a lot more than that. Well, just reminding myself again that De La Hoya, really, long time since he's faced a southpaw, didn't like it when he did face a southpaw, and he just can't seem to come to grips with Pacquiao's stance or his speed. He's got to start finding some answers pretty soon, or this thing will start really draining away from him. He may not have won a round so far, in fact, I don't think he has. Pacquiao is now commanding the centre of the ring, which is the last thing De La Hoya should be surrendering. He has to push this fella back, get up to the ropes, and let some punches flow, but he, can't, he doesn't seem capable of doing it. More body punches. 
and I do think that De La Hoya might be weak to the body. Remember, Bernard Hopkins stopped him for the only time with a body punch. That wasn't middleweight. De La Hoya spits back a bit of defiance, but they're just cameos from the Golden Boy at the moment. Nothing more. Takio actually looking in charge now. He has claimed the centre of the ring, doing to De La Hoya what he should be doing to Takio. It's a tremendous performance, this, by Pacquiao. Quick, great strategy, and outboxing a man who has lit up the scene, really, for the last 16 years. Pacquiao was so relaxed, he's not setting himself, he's not looking for power shots, but if Oscar De La Hoya slows down any more than he has done, I think we'll see Pacquiao stepping in with the bombs. Beautiful shot. Too quick again. Speed kills, they say, in boxing, and that at the moment is overruling that other old cliche that size matters. When you talk about how we'd handle the, the weight over 12 rounds, when things are going so well for you, you're on a high, you feel as though you could go on all night long, and that's how Pacquiao looks, so comfortable, so relaxed, and so on top. De La Hoya looks a shell of his old self. He's almost growing old before our eyes in there at the moment. There's a little faint from Pacquiao, always mobile. He's never still for a split second, always here, there, everywhere. De La Hoya can't turn him down. Beautiful shots again. Oh, so sharp, Manny Pacquiao. Keeps putting the rounds away. And this is beginning to look a bit of a hopeless case for De La Hoya now. And who would have thought we'd be saying that? Millie De La Hoya is there with a very long face. So too Richard Schaefer, the uh, president of Golden Boy Promotions. They're seeing the boss taking a bit of a beating here. We may also be seeing the end of a tremendous career. Ricky, what are you making of this? It's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's unbelievable. It's embarrassingly one-sided now, I'm afraid to say, uh, about Oscar. Um, he, he just, just looks like Oscar's got no reactions whatsoever. He just can't get out of the way of that left cross. As we watch the replay here, left cross, bang, right round the pipe again. He just can't get out of the, out of the way of it, and it's, it's a shame to see, really, but... but I Let's think either way, he's messed the weight up. That certainly has to be a factor, doesn't it? Round seven. Oscar De La Hoya. So much the bigger man. The man we thought might boss the fight. Too big, they said. Got him with the right hand there. But it's getting to the point where De La Hoya is going to have to stop Pacquiao. Such is the points deficit that's accruing. I have to say again, Ian, he is so poor. The weight has to have something to do with it. This... This would have shown up in training if he was as poor as this. Coming in at 10 stone 5 and only putting 2 pounds on to rehydrate the body. He has done something to his body. Physically, it's not right. His recent performances have been good. They've been very good, or at least they've been decent. This really is poor stuff from him. If he had been as bad as this, this would have shown up in the training camp, and I'm sure it hasn't. What did they do to get back down to 10 and a half stone? Whatever it was, it looks to have left De La Hoya leaden and a little weak at the weight. And totally outspeeded. He can't even get close to Pacquiao. At times it looks like a novice, he just doesn't know how to make the first move to get past that southpaw jab. This is sad to see, really, now. It's just a shell of the golden boy, and he's taking a bit of a beating in there at the moment, and I just wonder if it might even get to a point where they think of throwing in the towel because Pacquiao is giving him a lesson here. Speed, combinations, head and body. De La Hoya's been hurt to the body in this fight as well. And he has to take another one. He looked a bit shaky there. De La Hoya, he could even be stopped, you know. I wonder if they might even pull him out. He's throwing nothing back. It looks as though he has got nothing left. 
I said if he slowed down any more, Taka would move in with the power punches. That's what he's doing now. Stoppage is on the card here. And his left eye's closing up as well, De La Hoya, to add to the many, many other problems. There are 50 seconds or so left in this round. Pacquiao's playing with him. De La Hoya has nothing left. Absolutely nothing left. Tony Weeks, the referee, is looking closely here at Oscar De La Hoya. And he looked unsteady on his legs. He's just run out of ideas completely. Doesn't know what to do. Pacquiao pummels him again. Heavy shots. Tony Weeks is looking on very, very closely. De La Hoya's eye, his left eye, has almost shut completely. Yeah, and I think he's cornered with two now. If he gets to the end of this round, he has nothing left. Absolutely nothing left. And Pacquiao Look at this. is punishing. Imagine, where did he find that? Two uppercuts there, almost out of instinct and pride. Drenched them up from somewhere in the deepest of crises. Pacquiao didn't think he could stop De La Hoya, but he might. And will they pull him out? Will they pull him out of the fight? in that corner, they'll have to think about it because he looks an old man in yeah, there that, tonight, frankly. That, that could have been a 10 8 round, it was so one-sided, I'm scoring it 10-9 to Pacquiao, but it could well have been 10-8. Tony Weeks, the referee, has gone into the corner. Well, they're working on the bruises, so they're sending them out again. That's his pride, isn't it? Right away in your box. Pacquiao's been brilliant. I mean, Oscar was taking a beating in that round. Everything that Pacquiao, Pacquiao threw at him landed cleanly. He had no answer. There's nothing left in the tank. What is the point sending him back out here? This must be the last round for Oscar De La Hoya, one way or the other, unless he produces a miracle. And if it is, it might be the last round of his whole career. We may be watching the final chapter of a glorious career here. Well, and I it... said that a couple of rounds ago, Ian, and that's how it's looking. Because it's just looking like a bridge too far. I guess it comes to all the fighters in the end. He's never, ever been able to corner Pacquiao. Pacquiao's been like a little wasp around him, throwing in these stinging shots all night long. Would you have thought that Pacquiao was going to outsmart him and outbox him? I mean, one of the worry was that the Pacquiao was a little bit too easy to hit, and that's the reason that he couldn't give away all this weight. But De La Hoya can't find him most of the time. Well, I dismissed it as promotional hype when Bob Aaron, Pacquiao's promoter, said it was going to be easy. But it has been so far. Just keeps on throwing the punches and De La Hoya can't get off first. He can't even ask a question. Because the timing's not there and De La Hoya's punches, they can't hurt Pacquiao. There's no power in the shots if the timing is off. And De La Hoya's timing is a mile off, and there's definitely something missing in the body. Stuff's not there. It's sad, isn't it, Jim, really, to watch? Body shots badly marked up around the face, as he was against Steve Forbes a bit, even, in his last contest in May. Looks dead at the weight as well. But I don't want to take anything away from Manny Pacquiao. I don't want to make excuses for Oscar De La Hoya. He must have shown well in training or they wouldn't have taken the fight, so full credit to Pacquiao. But what he's done, keeping his weight low, must have contributed to such a poor performance from him. And all this taking place amid a seething atmosphere here at the MGM. I think people can't quite believe what they're watching, but it's real enough. This is starting to remind me of that horrible fight with Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes back in 1980, when Ali took a systematic beating before being pulled out of the fight towards the end of his career. De La Hoya has hardly managed a worthwhile punch in this round. What is the point sending him back out for more of this? Body he has his shots. own boss, so maybe he won't quit. That was better. Where's he finding that? Pacquiao smacked his gloves together there as De La Hoya launched that assault. Pacquiao 
ferocious combination, big left hand, body shots to La Jolla, ducks and dives and swings and gets through another round somehow. But this does look totally beyond recall. Hey, you have a headache? There's nothing in the tank. Oscar, Oscar, you have a headache? Are you dizzy? Do you, you, you have a headache? Okay, listen, 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 no, no, listen. If you, if, you, if you keep taking punches, I'm stopping the fight, okay? Where there are concerns in that corner, the doctor's asking if he's got a headache. They're concerned about the number of head punches that are raining in, and they're saying that if he carries on taking them, they're going to pull him out of the fight. I think that's sensible. Yeah, I think one of his problems for me is he's the boss man in Golden Boy. If someone else is making the decisions, I think they would have him out of there because this is a lost cause. Should they pull him out, Ricky Hatton? I think they should have pulled him out two rounds ago. I mean, he's not going to win this fight, and he hasn't done. It's over, it's, it's come out! It's all over. They have pulled him out. Oscar De La Hoya, surely the end of a glittering career and a famous win for Manny Pacquiao, who was quite brilliant tonight. Totally outspeeded and outboxed, a faded, dead at the weight, De La Hoya. But it's a wonderful, wonderful win for the Filipino. Well, Ian, beforehand, because of the weight issue, we thought if someone got wiped out, it would be Manny Pacquiao, but it was quite the opposite. Every round on my card, from start to finish, the tactics were perfect, did not allow De La Hoya into the fight. De La Hoya looks slow, tentative from the off, never comes up into it. Wonderful performance, wonderful achievement from Manny Pacquiao. Who will milk this, and he deserves to. He's some fighter, isn't he? He's moved up from being a nine stone four fighter back in March to winning here at ten and a half stone. And De La Hoya aged before our eyes tonight. He took too many, and really what happened there should be the last reminder to call it a day. Yeah, and, and I'm sure he will do that. Pity his career will go out in a, in a performance like this, but he should, well, it's not my place, but I'll be surprised if he boxes again. But Manny Pacquiao did everything at the right time. He was elusive in the early rounds, and then as his confident build, he started stepping in with the punches then. In the later stages, he knew he had the power to hurt De La Hoya. De La Hoya had nothing left, and they put their clinches on. A wise decision, but they could have pulled him out earlier. And poor old Ricky's probably seen his big money fight with Oscar De La Hoya go out the window. Well, not, not really. I mean, I, I said that, you know, you know that, you know, I mean, pound for pound, he proved it again that he's the number one in the, in, uh, in the, in the sport. And uh, I still might get my dream of becoming the best pound for pound fighter in the world. I mean, but that. You're that, against Pacquiao, you mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I must admit, Ian. We're probably looking at a modern-day phenomenon, really, Manny Pacquiao. He won his first world title at flyweight. To do that to Oscar De La Hoya, phenomenal is a word that is used probably too often in boxing for, for, for no real meaning, but, I mean, that, that was just outstanding. Modern-day great, I would say. I don't think anybody's arguing, Ricky. That's what he is. It is amazing what Pacquiao's done, climbing up from flyweight to now conquer at welterweight not that there was a world title on the line tonight but it was good as and here's how it was stopped the doctor in fact said yeah that's enough i think that's Shame a good, to say, decision. But good decision yeah no no question he had absolutely nothing left he was being pounded and he was taking a beating and you don't really want to see him going out on the floor he deserves better than that he gave his best but really his best wasn't even at the races tonight beaten in every department of the game. Here it is Ladies officially. and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, we turn a page in boxing history as this fight comes to an end. The official time at the end of round eight referee, Tony Weeks, calls a halt to the bout. The winner by TKO victory and still the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, the fighting prize of the Philippines, Manny Pacquiao! You can only imagine the scenes around the Philippines where it's, I think, lunchtime on Sunday at the moment, some Sunday lunch. They will be whooping it up.
what a performance he gave them there. It was one of the great displays, really, in boxing history. I know it was a faded De La Hoya, but Pacquiao showed what he was all about there tonight. Unbelievable performance, wonderful performance, but we have to ask the question, in which weight division does his, his future lie? Don't expect him, we'll stay up at welterweight, but he can pick, he's the main man in world boxing today, he can call the shots, he can go where he pleases and do exactly as he pleases, what a future he has. Not marked up at all, look relaxed, here's Larry Merchant with Oscar De La Hoya. Any second now. Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you very much, Jim. Oscar. You said to me a moment ago, you did this to yourself. What, were you, what did you mean? Uh, Manny Pacquiao is a great fighter. He deserves all the credit in the world. He fought a tremendous fight, and uh, he, he was a better man, and uh, he deserves uh, all the accolades, and he deserves uh, everything that he's accomplished, and I wish him all the best. Did you find yourself feeling weak from your lower weight? because you couldn't respond, or was he just too fast and too elusive at the same time? Uh, he's just a great fighter. I, I have nothing bad to say about him, and uh, I give him all the credit in the world. And uh, Manny Pacquiao prepared like a true champion, and uh, he deserves uh, everything that he's accomplished and everything he will. Are you shocked? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not shocked because, you know, uh, at, this, at this stage, uh, you know, when you face a great fighter like Manny, then, uh, you know, it's, it's almost uh, expected, you know, and uh, as long as I worked hard and I trained hard, but uh, like I told people in the gym, it's a whole different story. Was he more elusive, boxed better than you anticipated him? I mean, everyone knew he had the great left hand, but his movement, his in and out, his side to side, was that what confused you? Well, yeah, I mean, my style, my style is to go forward and to fight and uh you know manny pacquiao uh boxed on his toes really well and uh he waited for me to make the mistakes and so you know he he deserves everything you said before the fight in effect you're fighting to find out if you're still a fighter right what did you find out tonight well my heart still wants to fight that's for sure um but when your physical doesn't respond then what can you do? So I have to uh, be smart, and I have to uh, make sure I think about uh, my future plans. It sounds like you're saying you're going to retire. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, I love the sport, and uh, when it's not your night and a true champion like Manny beats you, um, obviously there's an another, another day tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now to Emmanuel. I'm sorry. Well, he stopped short of saying he was going to retire. Oscar De La Hoya there. Obviously, it's not a decision you can take on the hoop there. Here's Pacquiao now with Just Larry. to repeat the exchange I just heard, Emmanuel, Manny said to Oscar, you're still my idol. And Oscar said to Manny, no, now you're my idol. Could you have imagined that you would be able to dominate Oscar De La Hoya in this fight the way you did? Well, um, I think um, I did well tonight, and um, I'm lucky I, I, I win. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm so lucky because I controlled the fight in the first round, and you know. Uh, You're saying that you saw the pattern of the fight in the first round, and you saw that you were too fast for him. Yeah, that's what I, that's what we were working um, every day in the, at, the, at the gym. Uh, you know, uh, speed speed will be the key of this fight. So that's what I'm talking about, and I, I use it tonight. So I uh, thank God for uh, giving me the strength. Were you surprised that even with your speed, that he was as open and vulnerable to be hit as often as you hit him? Well, um, you know, uh, like what I said, uh, I train hard for this fight, and uh, that's why I, 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 I deserve tonight. And you know, uh, I'm still, uh, I'm still looking for Oscar is a good fighter, and you know, I respect him. As the fight went on, and you saw his look of resignation, 
and you saw his face being battered. What were your thoughts? Well, um, um, I I hit a lot of punches, hard punches in the last two rounds, and and, and uh, I don't think he he can he can uh, uh, fight long, lost long, uh, last long uh, until the 12 rounds. So you thought that after the third round, you had him, and it was just a matter of time. Yeah, yeah, but um, I don't want to uh, get co get confidence. I'm um, still um, careful, you know, uh, trying to counter pants his uh, uh, right hand, like what I said. Um, I counter uh, his straight, and then um, I counter an uppercut or straight to the body, and uh, keep the right hand uh, up because uh, his hook is very strong. All right, just for a moment, Freddie, you put yourself on the line in this one from trying to get the promotion made getting the negotiations restarted, saying all along that Oscar couldn't pull the trigger anymore and that your guy would stop him around the eighth or ninth round. How, how, how good do you feel? How vindicated do you hey, feel? Manny, I want you to thank Larry first, but he's the guy who thought up this bout. Without Larry, this fight wouldn't have happened, so you got to thank him. Thank, thank you, Bob. Yeah, you know, I just know I get the younger, fresher guy out there. I trained Oscar, you know, and I saw him very, very sluggish in the Forbes fight. I thought, you know, he couldn't pull the trigger anymore, and I proved I was right. Manny, everybody was thinking that the winner of this fight will fight Ricky Hatton next. Is that what you're looking forward to, to go back to 140 pounds? Well, sir, um, my job is uh, to train hard and to fight in the ring. Um, I think it's my promoter's job to negotiate to whatever who's my opponent on the Knicks, and I'm, I'm just waiting for uh, the next fight. What do you think is going on in the Philippines? right now. <laughs> Here's the vice president. Here's the vice um, president. Well, um, I would like to, first, I would like to thanks to all the Filipino who comes here, and now especially the, the vice president of the Philippines. <laughs> and also the the governor, Tabi Singson, and all the congressmen has, are here tonight, and to all the mayors. Every, everybody who uh, who's from, who come from the uh, Philippines, thank you very much. And I'll Manny, see you, you're I'll see great, you in the Ram Jungle tonight. You're, you're a great fighter and a coming politician. <laughs> well, um, right now I'm so happy because I, I deserve my, my sacrifices. And I thanks God, thank God for giving, uh, di giving me this another uh, victory for uh, tonight. And it's going to be a, a big, big uh, honor to our country. Not for me, but for, to all the Filipino who love boxing and to all the people who love boxing. Yeah, thank hey! you very much. Thank you, Manny. Jim? All right. Uh,